like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 17 is asking us which quadrants of the xy plane contain points of the graph of this inequality. 2x minus y is greater than 4. So we go ahead and rewrite that. And I think the easiest way to work this problem out is to do a sketch, is to create a sketch of the graph of this inequality. And then just you can tell visually which quadrants uh, the solutions will lie in. So in order to graph this, I'm going to try to put this into slope-intercept form, or y equals mx plus b form, so that I can easily identify the slope and the y-intercept. So to do that, I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, and that's going to give me negative y is greater than negative 2x plus 4. So you can see it's almost there in that slope-intercept form. I do need to get rid of this negative though. So to do that, I'm going to divide both sides by negative one. And one thing to note here is that whenever you multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative, you have to flip the inequality symbol. So this greater than is gonna turn into a less than when I divide by negative one. So, my inequality written in slope-intercept form will be y is less than 2x minus 4. So whenever you have an equation that's in slope-intercept form, so that's like this y equals mx plus b form, the slope of the line that you're going to graph is the m. Okay, so m is the slope. And the b value is the y-intercept, or in other words, the location on the graph where your line is going to cross the y-axis. So in this case, our slope is 2 and our y-intercept is negative 4. Now I don't have a grid here to plot any of this, so I'm just going to have to do a rough sketch and hope that it's just really obvious where the solutions are going to be. So let's go ahead and sketch um, an x and y-axis here. Here's my x-axis, here's my y-axis. So the y-intercept here is negative 4, so I'm going to plot a point at negative 4. I'll just sort of estimate where that is, like maybe right here, let's make that a circle, not a square. Okay, and I'll just label this as negative 4. The slope here is 2, so since the slope is 2, in order to find more points on this line, I need to go up 2 over 1. So up 2 would take me to negative 2, and then over 1 would take me to 1. So my next point that I can plot here is going to be up 2 over 1. It's going to be roughly right here. Again, this is just a really rough sketch, but it, it's going to be good enough to, to allow us to answer the question. I can keep going here by using the slope to going up 2 over 1. That's going to give me my x-intercept there, which happens to be at 2. And then I can go up 2, up to 2 here, over 1. Get one last point here, and that's probably good enough to be able to see where the line's going to be. Now, two things to note here is that this is strictly less than. So the solutions are not going to lie on the line but they will lie below the line because it's less than. If this were greater than, the solutions would lie above the line. If there was an equal on here, like less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, or just equal to, then all the points on the line would be considered solutions. But as it stands, since it's just less than, the points on the line will not be solutions. So I can indicate that by drawing, excuse me, a, uh, a dotted line here. And I know this is a little shaky here as far as lines go, but it's going to be good enough. Remember, we're just trying to do a rough sketch to identify where the solutions are going to be. Now, the solutions are going to exist below the line, and so usually uh, the way that you show that is by shading that region. So I'm going to shade this region below the line here. Um, let's see, let's get a real big thing here. Shade all this region below the line. Okay, so the, this shaded region, you know, everything here 
is going to contain all the solutions to the inequality. So the question is asking, you know, where are the solutions to the inequality? Uh, well, I don't know what happened there. But um, the solutions to the inequality are going to be in this region. Now, as far as, like, the quadrant numbers, the way the, the quadrants are, are numbered, uh, it's kind of a weird numbering, but if you have any experience graphing angles in standard position, it'll make more sense why they're labeled like this. But this is quadrant one up here in the top right. Okay, quadrant one is the top right. Quadrant two is in the top left. Three is in the bottom left. And then four is in the bottom right. So the question is asking in which quadrants do the solutions lie or what quadrants of the xy plane contain points of this uh, inequality. So any quadrant that's going to have shading in it is going to count. And so we can see that there is shading in quadrants 1, 3, and 4. So that's going to be our answer for this problem. We're going to look at our answer choices to find 1, 3, and 4. And so that's going to be answer choice C. Well, uh, that is it for question number 17. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.